hello and welcome to my first declutter of 2022 so my relationship with my makeup collection has changed quite a bit and i'm not really buying as much makeup i really feel like i am wanting to love on my makeup and really get to know my products and i enjoy consistently using products versus constantly using new things so obviously i like using new makeup but i want to just have a few of my very favorites and be able to use those and love those because I get more joy out of using something that I love and is a holy grail than constantly using something new. So, with that being said, my collection isn't huge, um, at least in my standards. I only have a handful-ish of things in each category. I don't really know. And I'm not going to be extreme just for the sake of it. I am just going to take out things that I'm not using and I'm just feeling a little stressed out about. So, um, sorry about the weird camera angle. I've been trying to make it better for overhead views, but this is my desk. That's my computer over there. Um, and it has this little cubby in the top where I keep my palettes, but it's kind of a mess back there. And then it has a top drawer here where I put like my everyday makeup. This is where I put my shot, my stash makeup. And I just use this in the mornings. And then down here, I don't know if you can see, is where I keep the rest of my makeup collection. So, I've been thinking through a few of these items for a while now, and I have a good idea of what I want to get rid of. And then maybe at the end of spring or sometime in there, the things that were on the chopping block, I will go back through and decide if I still want them. So, uh, I hope you can see. Let me move this a little bit. Here are my palettes, and there's a bunch of stuff back here. So... This is from the Tower 28 PR, um, cat nail clippers, pliers, I don't know. And then here's another Tower 28 PR. Um, I usually keep the ones that are handwritten and I will probably eventually get rid of the other ones, but I just like to keep especially the Tower 28 ones that make me feel special. Um, but let me just clean this up a bit. There's an Auric box. <laughs> A setting spray, which I'm going to keep and hopefully just keep it right here once I go through my declutter. And then a Girlfriend Collective bag, which is an activewear brand. And this is usually when I pack my makeup brushes in, so that will end up going back there. Last thing is this Tower 28 keychain that they sent in PR. So um, I'm going to put the bag back there and let's go through the palettes. Well, I'll go through here first, but what I'll do is I'll just put whatever is in here into each category that it belongs with. So these are some single eyeshadows, um, a powder, these two are powders, and here's another palette. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to put the ones that I want to get rid of over here, I guess. First is my Natasha Denona Tropic palette. I need to go through, this looks different than it normally does, I need to go through and get rid of these in the bottom row because that goes with the gold palette. I don't reach for this that often. I reach for it for this shade right here a ton to go with some of my single eyeshadows, but I like this to have because it's some basic mattes and good pinks, but I'm going to take out the gold palette stuff so I can go ahead and sell the gold palette as a whole because I really don't need those shades, but I'm going to keep this. The Natasha Denona Love Palette I raved about, but I really only used it like three times in February of last year. I haven't reached for it since, and I use this once, like right before I shower, just to see the eye look. And it's a beautiful palette, but I really just don't need it because I don't use these reds. I don't, like I like these shimmers right here, and I like the mattes, but I also like this purple. I, I just don't need it. Sorry about that, the cats were playing, but turned into a fight. Um, I just think that I have the colors that I like in here in other palettes, or at least similar vibes. So I'm thinking like this Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde isn't exactly the same. I guess it's really not because it isn't super pink. Like this shimmer, I, I like, but it just is a little bit sheer of a shimmer and I like the one in the Mercury Retrograde. I don't use the reds. I just don't think I need this palette even though it is so beautiful. I just don't wear pinks as much anymore, and if I do, I have, like, these sort of pinks, I guess. So, I think I'm going to declutter this, and I will go through at my other palettes and see what sort of pinks I have. But I think I'm going to declutter it just because 
I really like the color story, but I really, I just don't reach for it. While we're at it, the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde, I am going to keep. This is an example of a colorful palette that I really do enjoy because it is still neutral and it offers a bunch of different looks because the mattes and the shimmers are all very different from each other. So I really enjoy this one and I want to pull it more. The Rose Quartz from Huda Beauty, I still have not used, but I won this in a giveaway and I want to use this one soon. So I have these pinks here. Um, the rest of the palette isn't super pink, but I am going to keep this one because I think these shimmers look super fun and I'm really excited for it, especially there's more neutrals and this one, Moon Magic, just looks so pretty. So I'm going to keep this one. My Pat McGrath Divine Rose 1, I don't reach for it super often, but I am going to keep it because I do like the color story. I just need to develop more of like an arsenal of looks that I know I enjoy with this so that way I don't feel so intimidated when I go to reach for this but this one does have this gold to pink that is just pinky vibes and there's a pink here so I'm gonna keep this um the Mica by Mario Master Matte I do really enjoy this palette but I feel like I don't need it because I have I don't know. It's not that I don't like having multiple neutral palettes because, I mean, I do want to purchase more neutral palettes. I want to purchase M Cosmetics one, but I feel like I don't really do all matte looks, and if I do, I use like two shades, and I have these shades in my Patrick Ta palette. So these aren't the same, but I feel like every shade that I would need from here I have in the Patrick Ta palette. Um, I really just use like the mid-tone browns, which are right here, and then if I want like deeper colors, I feel like these are dupes for each other, these four. So, I don't know, I really do enjoy this palette, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to declutter it, but I'm going to keep it on my desk and use it once or twice more and see if I think it's worth keeping, and because I really did enjoy the formula, especially in the fall time, but I just really don't reach for it because if I need a matte brown shade, I'm usually reaching for this one. Sorry, the lighting is kind of bad with the shadow. I have my lamp set up right there, but I love the Patrick Cha palette. I think the mattes are perfect. You get a good like range of tones. I love all the shimmers. I've used every shade in here, I want to say, except I need to use the creams more, but this palette is stunning. This one I thought would be too light, but I love it on the lid by itself, and I just really enjoy this palette. So, so far, keeping five, decluttering two. Um, the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2, my last declutter, I was really on the fence with this, and I don't know if I ended up decluttering it, but it's back in my collection, and I think I, it's time to let go of it, because at the end of the day, I'm keeping it for three shades, which is this matte color, which I feel like is really similar to the matte in this one. This shimmer, which is super pretty. I shouldn't have swatched that because that is really stunning. But other than that, I have this hot pink, which I have a blush color that I can just use for eyeshadow. So I'm literally only keeping it for this shimmer shade right here. And so I feel like maybe Phytosurgeon's Chilled Cherry looks similar to this shade. I actually feel like that might be really similar to this. So I, that's a single eyeshadow, a cream single eyeshadow that I ordered. So I am going to get rid of this one because I don't like these bronzy colors. Um, I thought about keeping it because what if I want to reach for them, but I just, that's not a reason to keep a palette. My cat is fine. She's just on the desk. Um, I don't really like this one. I don't know. It's just not a palette where I see the color story and I'm wowed by it. It's just kind of too colorful for me. So I'm going to declutter it. Next is the Patrick Ta blush palette. I broke this when I was doing a swatch for Tara, which I'm so sad about, and um, I'm thinking I might be able to find a way to fix it because it's just, I don't know if you can see, it's just this piece that's missing, but I regret buying this because I don't use these blush colors, and I don't know, I think, just cleaning that up, I think the colors are pretty, but they are just really pigmented, and I'm intimidated by this palette. Um, I don't even know if anyone's going to want it because it is broken and creams, but I don't know. I will see, but for now, I am going to declutter it. I'm going to clean it up and sanitize it again, and uh, probably post it on Mercari. I don't really know the best way to sanitize everything. I think the best way is probably to clean it and then 
whoever gets it to swatch the first layer of the creams off but the colors just aren't really for me i'm not really drawn to this palette and i don't need this sitting in my collection because i know it's going to get decluttered down the line and i'd rather do it now while it's not expired than later when it is going to so i'm going to declutter that the star wars mandalorian palette well there is a mandalorian but this is the child palette they've made several other star wars ones I don't use this one a ton, but I love this one for green eyeshadow looks, and even though, I don't know, I don't wear it super often, I still feel like this is essential in my collection because it's the only place I have greens. I don't have them in other palettes or in singles, so I also love the packaging of this, so I am going to keep it. A blush palette that I do really love is the Pat McGrath's Bridgerton one, and this is a bright pink I can use as eyeshadow love all of the shades in here this one is a little dark but i just use a very very light hand with it and it looks beautiful so i'm going to keep that one and then i got this in my giveaway with the huda beauty palette but it's a little bit dark for me um i would really only use like this matte and then a few of the shimmers so i'm going to pass this on i think like to my aunt because it is untouched i am really grateful for it but I know myself and I know it's just gonna sit in my collection so gonna get rid of that so so far up here I kept one two three four five six seven and got rid of one two three four five so I don't think that that's bad let's go in here so these are my single eyeshadows and these are my palettes so I'm going to go ahead and go through my palettes first so I will just hold it here one that I know I'm keeping and I've referenced a lot is the Natasha Denona Mini Biba. I get rid of a lot of Natasha Denona palettes, but that's just because the color stories are just too much for me, and I don't reach for all the shimmers, and I'm just, I mean, you can tell by how many big palettes I have, one, two, three, four, five, six big palettes, and one of them is just a nine pan, so I'm not really into large palettes because I don't like intricate eye looks, but this one, love the colors of and the formula is so so good and this shimmer isn't too much of a straight metallic it can be really pretty sheared out so love 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 this one also absolutely adore the makeup by mario four play everyday quad in the shade nude one i could definitely see myself hitting pan on some of these they're super powdery so you get a lot of kickback and I feel like you could use this one up. But this is one of my favorites. I love both the shimmers in here and I usually use all of these colors. So really, really love this quad. If you like really natural everyday makeup, this one is so good. And these are like probably my favorite eyeshadow palettes in my collection right now. M Cosmetics Divine Skies and Magic Hour is fairly similar to the Natasha Denona if you can't get the M Cosmetics Where You Live, I would recommend the Natasha Denona, and this one is $20, this one's 40 something, but I am still going to keep it because, first of all, mainly because I love this pinky shimmer here, and I feel like besides this pinky peach color, the colors are actually pretty different from each other, like this shimmer has more of like a warm... I don't know how to describe colors, but I feel like they're more different than I thought based on just the looks. Um, I feel like they're different enough, and even though I haven't reached for this one in a little while, I just love this shimmer here, so I'm going to keep it. However, the M Cosmetics Divine Skies palette in Venetian Rose, I'm really sad, but this formula just didn't work for me, and I might try it again, but to be honest, like I don't really... I think the only thing drawing me to this palette are the mattes. The shimmers don't really excite me, but I wore like this matte with these, or this shimmer with these two mattes, and my eyeshadow looked terrible at the end of the day. It completely disappeared. It creased so badly. I never seen eyeshadow look that badly on me at the end of the day. It's like my eyelids completely ate the shadow. And I posted that on Instagram and a few other people DM me and said that this palette in particular did that to you and that it, like the, it was just too creamy and it just disappeared. Which is so weird because I love Magic Hour. But I am going to declutter this one, sadly. Really wanted to love it, but I'm going to declutter it. My Charlotte Tilbury quads, I'm going to keep both of them and I would love to get more use out of them. This is uh, Pillow Talk which I really do like, and even though like all of these kind of have similar vibes, it's what I like to reach for every day, so I'm not mad about it because 
I get excitement out of all of them and if I get bored of one I switch to the other so I don't think you need all of these but I do enjoy having this one and then this is star aura this one is all of these like shimmery colors but they're not impactfully shimmer they're more like a soft mature shimmer that is just really beautiful and if you can tell I use this one the most I would like to use more of these but I think these quads are really special and I would like to use them more and then we have Pat McGrath Floor Fantasia. I have not used this one in a while, but in the springtime, this is one of my favorites. And I just can't get rid of this purple color. <laughs> That's honestly why I can't get rid of it. This one reminds me of the match that I'm getting rid of in Divine Rush 2. So I do really enjoy this quad, and I feel like it's a staple to my collection. So I'm going to keep that one. Let's put these back in. These will finally fit nicely in my drawer. So one, two, three, four, five, six smaller eyeshadow palettes. I only got rid of one, but you know, that's okay. I still feel like that is a good number. So out of my total eyeshadow palettes, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 eyeshadow palettes. And I got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six eyeshadow palettes. Well, actually one, two, three, four, five eyeshadow palettes and one blush palette so I feel like that's a good number 12 eyeshadow palettes I would like to have 10 but at this point I don't see myself getting rid of any and honestly I want to buy the new M cosmetics palette so I feel really happy with these numbers I don't reach for the palettes up here a ton but I feel like they're still special in my collection right now um honestly down the road I could see myself keeping the Patrick Ta one and maybe one others and getting rid of some because I don't know. I've been feeling more minimal these days and I really enjoy these, but I'm happy with my collection now. Let's go into my single eyeshadows. This is kind of a mess in this drawer. Um, these ones sitting here, this is Auric Disrupt. I kind of regret buying this because, I mean, it's pretty dark for me, but have not actually worn it yet, so I'm going to give it a shot and I think it could be really pretty sheared out. And this is the really beautiful duochrome on top. So I'm going to keep that one. And this is Tom Ford Golden Peach. I also semi-regret getting this one, but again, I haven't used it, so I need to give it a shot. Um, it looks like that, and the topper. The topper honestly looks really pretty, but that's what that looks like. I want to compare it to... Okay, I guess they're pretty different and very different formulas, so never mind. But I'm going to keep these two. I haven't used them yet. Um, my Kaleido Skywalker. I need to put this away because I I don't wear this like hardly ever, but for football season, I go to UF and our colors are orange and blue. And I really like wearing this one for football games, especially like on the eyes is where I wear. I don't really wear it as a highlighter. Um, just on the eyes or in the inner corner, this is really cool. I don't know if you can tell at all in, on the camera, but it's like a translucent with a blue reflect that I really do enjoy. These M Cosmetic shadows, I have four. I bought this one in Tara Brooke sent me these three. The formula of these three are so much worse compared to the formula of this one. This one is Wish. These aren't my favorite single eyeshadows first of all, at least speaking for Wish, because it looks beautiful but it does crease. But these ones, I don't know what it is, especially this one in Venus. I feel like it just doesn't look as good. It reminds me of the one in the eyeshadow palette. Um, actually, it reminds me of the one in Divine Rose 1. But it just doesn't look as good. I don't, I don't know. Now that I'm swatching it, maybe I was wrong. But um, considering I don't love the formula of these, and I have this exact shade in Divine Rose 1. I'm going to get rid of Venus. Luna is the most impactful of them. It's more of a silvery shade. So that's what that one looks like. I hope the lighting is okay. Um, this one a lot of people raved about. And I haven't used it on the eyelids yet. So that's going to be a maybe. Let's swatch this one which is Moon Rise. I don't know. These are just really crumbly and were too silvery for my taste. Um, I think this color is not gonna look good on me because it's like a pink, but the reflect is silver. So I'm gonna get rid of Moonrise. I really appreciate her sending these to me, but I don't know, the Wish to me is so much better than these other colors. I'll swatch Wish. I'm not gonna swatch everything, but 
the color on this and the formula of this is just better. Um, I think it just might be the reflect of it. So it's more of like a peachy color. I hope you can see, but I'm going to keep Wish and keep trying it and see how I feel about the creasing as I wear it more or like wear it for a full days of work. Cause I will say it does crease pretty badly. Some people say that it disappeared on them and I don't think I had that problem, but it did crease quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna again, get rid of Moonrise and then Luna. So this is a shade from the Rose Quartz palette and I feel like it's pretty similar to Moonrise. Luna is definitely more of a silvery color, but I'm not gonna wear it and I have lighter champagnes that are not as cool tones. So I'm going to get rid of these three. I am sorry, Tara, and I appreciate you sending them to me, but they just aren't my cup of tea. The formula and the colors on that just isn't as good. So I'm going to get rid of those. The rest of my singles should be easier. I'm not getting rid of a ton, um, but I told you that at the beginning, just getting rid of some things that I feel like are taking up space. Um, okay, my Fido Sweetness eyeshadows, I need to reach for these a bit more. And these aren't colors I reach for every day. Um, so Wild Wisteria is one I reach for all the time, but it's the most beautiful purple eyeshadow. So gonna keep that one. Uh, Potent Petal from, I guess they're all from Fido Surgeons. I am not in love with this color, but it is a nice, simple pink for every day. I feel like I don't even have this in my palettes because it's not super reflective. So this is a good, um, simple eye look when I don't want to do too much. Orchid Overload is discontinued, but I think they're going to bring it back every now and then. It's just like a glittery topper with a pink color to it, and I do really like it. And then Fractal Freesia is personally my favorite of the two, and this one is still around, so it's more like a beige tan color so going to keep that one i might actually for the rest of my collection move to my desk and like lay everything out is what i'll probably do but for this top drawer i'll keep, whoops, keep doing this and also i organize everything in a way so i know exactly what i'm reaching for so i usually will do it from lightest to darkest so this is how they sit in my drawer here. i have two victoria beckham lid blusters and i'm keeping them both this is Honey, which is such a beautiful shade. And then I have Chiffon, which is newer to me and I think can give me similar vibes to the M Cosmetics shadows. It's just a nice light champagne color. Um, it has a slight like, green undertone, but not in like a colorful way. It's just in the undertone. But I really do enjoy Chiffon, and I want to actually pull these ones soon. My Auric shadows, I have all three of the originals. Temper is my favorite of the bunch. It's a true rose gold. This is the topper. Um, Defiance. I really do like this one, but sometimes I struggle more with blending on the edges because I don't know what matte color to go with it. So it's not that it's hard to blend. I just don't know what to put in the crease with this, but I really do enjoy that one. And then the topper is a gold. And then Ego, I don't reach for as much, but it feels wrong to get rid of it. So it's a silver color. Again, don't reach for it much, but I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's discontinued, but it's not in the promo photos anymore. And it's been sold out for a very long time. So not to scare anyone, but it might be sold out. Um, this Smashbox cream eyeshadow in the shade Guava. I loved this one over the summer. But I just don't feel like I need it. And looking at my eyeshadow collection, I have a similar color here. And I also have like this color. So I don't know because the formula is good, but I'd like something in a pot where I can blend it out more. And this one is more like a matte. So it's a little bit harder to blend out. It's not hard at all because I I read about how easy it is with the fingers, but it's not as creamy. It dries down, definitely. So, ugh. I, I was planning on getting rid of this, but I actually think I'm going to keep it because I want to try it out again for summer because I really did like it. Um, my Charlotte Tilbury Cream Eyeshadows, Oyster Pearl. Let me know how long these went for you guys until they expired. I had an eczema outbreak, not outbreak, but like flare up. I'm worried it might be this because it's been almost two years 
these have a six month expiry so I love the color on this but I'm just worried about it but I'm gonna keep it for now but by the end of this year I'm gonna get rid of it pillow talk is newer to me and I really like the color it's like a romantic pink but this one is absolutely going it's a matte in the shade flawless beige pretty sure this is what gave me the eczema flare-up because it's so drying on the lids I was able to blend out to look nice using a brush but oh my gosh it just felt like cement on my lids so I'm getting rid of that one um hourglass scattered light in the shade ray I don't use this one often but I like having it around for every now and then. And I don't like doing that for many things. But I don't know. Eyeshadow is hard, you guys. And then Wish from Elle Cosmetics I'm going to keep. So I'm going to try and put these in here. Oh, I forgot to show you these two. But I'm going to keep them. My Chantecai Eyeshadows Giraffe recently pulled recent. Well, I guess recently. I pulled this recently. And it is a very pretty, actually, everyday brown as well. And then Cheetah is a beautiful champagne color. Okay, so that's all of those. And I'm just going to set these two on top. And this one will go here for now, but I want to put that one away. So the rest of these I'm going to pull when I do individual categories. So as a recap, I got rid of four single eyeshadows. And now let's do my base products.